Back again, y'all. All right. So we're just going to go over today why I switched over to the Atari Arms Bravo mount from the Texas Weapon Systems BD dot mount or BDM1 mount. Uh, both are for the aim point micro dot style optics mounts. Uh, both really great quality wise. Uh, some things I like about one, some things I like better about the other. Uh, to start with the Texas Weapon Systems mount, the mounting block here is made out of steel. It's very substantial. Uh, definitely, in my mind, superior to what Atero came up with. I don't know if it was to accommodate, you know, different variances in tolerances with AK rear side bases, but. Uh, it's a really thin piece of aluminum. Not that big of a fan of this. We'll see how it works. Um, and I will definitely report back if I have any issues with that. Pop that screw out. The, uh, the main reason I switched over to the Atero Arms Mount is because it offers a true co-witness. You can actually see the rear sight in the optic. The Texas Weapon Systems, if you can't tell, is a little too short for the Hollow Sun optics. It's going to be too short for your Sig Romeos, and that defeats the purpose of having the rear sight mount that offers a go, and it's like they advertise. Uh, kind of self-explanatory, don't advertise your mount as having coatness if the optic can't see the rear sight when you have it mounted. Uh, it's not going to be a problem for the T1, it's not going to be a problem for the Vortex Micro Dot that uses the T1 pattern. I looked at pictures of both of those, they're super low. Uh, this was designed around the T1, so it could have just been an oversight. They may not have had a hollow sun to mount on it and you know, test, who knows, but Atero did their homework, they have just high enough, man, it's high enough, it'll be even better if you're running a aim point, you'll have a little more of the sight in there, I'm fine with what little sight it has in there, doesn't bother me a bit, as far as the construction, the way they, and they mount, uh, it has a slotted screw, uh, we'll see how that mounts up, if it's going to give me a you know, make it easier. It uh, wasn't terribly difficult. The hardest thing about mounting these uh, is getting the rear sight off of the AK. So if you want to know how that's done, just go ahead and hit uh, hit up my video on the installation of the Texas Weapon Systems video not mount. As far as other differences in mounting, uh, this one uses a roll pin, so you're going to have to punch that through. Which, if anybody's done AK gunsmithing, hammer and punch are no strangers. The bitty dot mount, this pin just slips right through both the mount and the rear sight base, and then just has this C clip on there. Uh, hadn't had any issues with it as far as the C clip and everything. It, it's actually pretty hard to get off. So, no doubt that it would stay mounted and it's so scary. And even if that C-clip came off, once you have this mounted in place and torqued down, there's so much pressure on that pin, you're not going to be able to get it out. You'd have to use a hammer and punch and a significant amount of force to overcome the pressure pushing up on that pin when it's mounted. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I did want to have the Texas Weapon Systems, Texas Company, Texas Man. Uh, I think it's a superior mount in regards to weight and of course the engineering of that block, the nine block. Only thing, other thing I can bring up is honestly they're about the same price. They're around you know $70, $75 and I gotta give it to Atero. Uh, Atero had them in stock. I had to wait uh, quite a while to get a notification from Texas Weapon Systems when they were back in stock and ultimately 
after mounting it, got everything hooked up, hooked up, and looked through it, and I couldn't see that rear sight. <laughs> oh, the disappointment that didn't, that followed. If y'all have any questions, definitely hit me up. I'm about a week or two behind on messages, but I will get back to you. Uh, other than that, I think the next video that we're gonna have for y'all is uh, shooting this with the rear sight, with the Atero arms mount on there. I can go over a little more depth. I can give you a little more of a review of the actual mount after I've actually tested it versus just kind of an overview comparison of the two and why I switched to the Utero. Uh, I recommend both. This is going to a good buddy of mine. He's got a T1 so he can actually get full use out of it, uh, definitely. If you have a T1, if you have the Vortex, pretty sure it's the Spark, uh, the micro dot mount that uses the T1 base, you'll be more than happy with the Texas Weapon Systems. I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, because it's it's just it's that slight bit of weight savings, uh, just a little bit nicer in my opinion of the machining and the interface. It's gonna work. Both will work for you. Uh, we will find out how durable this piece is. A tarot. If you're watching this, I'd like to see this made out of steel, at the bare minimum. Um, maybe thicker aluminum. If you're gonna make it out of aluminum, make a piece that's this substantial because that is how it's done. All right, again, guys, if y'all have any questions, hit me up, crash out.